Nah, that's what I be saying, them Jordans. Yeah. This is P and we're back with another unboxing video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest unboxing videos. So, these was actually ordered March the 30th, Saturday, last Saturday at 10 a.m. It was just sort of like an impulse buy because I was actually going to get them to resell. And when I clicked it, I sort of like had hesitation because it was going to be between these or the Tinker 3s, um, the white and red ones with the removable um, swooshes, like the Velcro, which I think those might still be available. Um, I just thought they were sort of clean with the Nike Air on the back. But I know in the last few years, heads been going crazy over the Jordan 1s. And I think it's because of the way they look when they lay on the jeans or with the shorts. I thought Jordan 1s looked whack back in the day, especially during the era of like the Air Force 1s because the toe box area was sort of more plush um, vertically from the bottom up instead of flat, like um, a straight up skater shoe. But they looked whack with like baggy jeans and relaxed fit jeans and carpenter jeans and stuff like that. But then when the jeans went um, to more of a straight fit, slim fit, and even a skinny fit and with joggers, the Jordan ones just make your eyes realize that they look better laying on the pants now. So with that being said, let's go ahead and slice these open and see how they look in person. Today is Wednesday, so typically if you order from Nike on um, Saturday, usually I get mine on Wednesday. They're shipping from Memphis, um, Tennessee, usually, from that facility, that warehouse or whatever. And as you can see, if you're not familiar with um, purchasing sneakers from Nike recently, in the last few years, if you took a pause, or just starting, um, your box is actually gonna have the Just Do It tape and the Nike swoosh actually on the box. This box is sort of wide and I can actually hear the sneakers shaking around in here because of the Jordan ones, the box is a little bit skinnier than some of the other ones. And usually with um, the Jordan one box, it's always black with the infrared. Um, Nike and swoosh underneath so to give it that OG look and USA size nine and a half retail for 160 this is going to be the Air Jordan 1 Phantom or I think some may have been called in sale or whatever so the Air Jordan 1 Retro OG High suggested retail 160 so let's flip the lid actually not flip lift it completely off yeah, I smell the leather in here already. So, and it's funny, um, before we flip this online, I noticed like at Nike and um, other retailers online that these actually sold out from sizes seven or maybe seven and a half, whichever is the uh, lowest in men's, only up to like nine and a half. So these are still available in like sizes. 10 to 18 or whatever, 17 or 18, the largest size. So keep that in mind. Today is Wednesday, um, April the 3rd. And I haven't had any Jordan 1s in a while because I sold all of mine. Um, and I've had some dope ones. And these are looking pretty good. <laughs> Resale on these is only about like $195 plus $15 to ship. And of course, you're getting three sets of laces, the red, the black. These are actually fire flames in hand. I'm gonna tell you why these, in my opinion, are not flipping for like 300, 400, and 500 in a second. But yeah, these are on some different type skit. And be on the lookout for, um, like my on feet video, I was gonna do it today, but probably tomorrow, switch out some jeans, lace them up, see how they look. But there's some semi-premium things going on with this kick that I noticed, and we're gonna go over them. 
Uh, basically, the Jordan one was originally released in 1985. Michael Jordan, his rookie year with the Chicago Bulls. And I'm coming from North Carolina, UNC. So some of the original colorways, of course, is going to be the Chicago. Um, those are OG colorways. This is called an OG high because it's the height, the OG height, and not a mid. And of course, you get the Air Jordan wings at the top and Nike on the tongue with the swoosh. And uh, throughout the years, especially um, prior to like 2013, you was getting some OG highs, but they would have like the Jumpman on the tongue or on the heel, and those was okay, but this is what you want. No Jumpman on the heel and the Nike Air on the tongue. But um, some OG colorways, of course, the Chicago, the white, red, and black, and um, the Jordan ones always come with two to three sets of laces to swap out. A lot of skaters like the shoe because it's flat, even on um, the Jordan 1 lows. So you got the Chicago, which is OG, Bread, which is band, the black and red. And that's with any colorway that you hear affiliated with um, Jordans and some of the other Nikes. Black and red means bread, band, uh, and that's one of the popular ones because it was actually banned to be worn in the game because too much black in the shoe, even though black is in the Chicago Bulls jersey. But those are probably the most coveted OG colorway. Then you have the Royals, which he never wore on the Chicago Bulls court, but he actually wore them in the game that was like on a boat or whatever. So they're Royal, black, and a little bit of white. And make sure you get the real Royals, not the other Royals, they're just okay. Um, and I remember cats used to wear the bread if there was really starting like one on the left side or the right side and the royal on the other side just swapping it up. And um, that just shows a little bit of paper because imagine doing it now and waiting on those releases um, because that was all in one year, 1985, before they started retroing them um, in the mid and late 90s until now. So this one is a retro because this is not an OG colorway. Another OG colorway, of course, is going to be the UNC, the white and Carolina blue, which represents when he played on um, the UNC team in college. So yeah, and then you have like the shadows, which is black and gray. That's an OG colorway that he actually worn back in 1985. So yeah, just a little brief history. Um, but what I see right off the bat is this tumbled leather. And it's not super soft in the toe box area. Like, but you can definitely see it. It's like whoever works at Jordan Brand was like, yeah, they want to see the tumbled leather. But they didn't put too much emphasis into making it super soft. Um, like the shattered backboards, which was supposed to be the softest leather on the Jordan 1, which was released, I think, in uh, 2015. Then the Shattered Backboards um, Reverse, or 2.0, which were released the following fall, um, which the white, orange, and black colorway, super soft leather on the toe box, and in the mid um, area of the shoe surrounding um, the swoosh area. So, I think that's what they did. They, they're showing you that it's tumbled, exaggerated tumbled leather on the toe box, also in the mid part, but even around the heel. And um, the sail white is sort of like an off-white, but in this area, it's like a different texture. It's almost like a heather gray. Right, because it's not the same as the sail white, even on the sole and the um, outsole. The Nike on the bottom, all sail white. Um, you got the swoosh and like this hella gray or whatever it is, like a cement. And then all the stitching is in red throughout and around the swoosh. At the top, you got the um, Iron Jordan wings that pop. And you got some black lining right here and going through the swoosh as well. So just all those little details and the laces, um, the lace slots are actually like a metal material in white. The 
tongue, soft mesh. You got your cell laces right here. Um, the swoosh is in red and the Nike is in black. So just those little details with just the little hits of red and outlining the toe box area, perforations in the toe box area. And also like right here, this little red outline, it sort of has like a glow to it, like a gloss material uh, going around the back, the heel, in the middle. So just some different skit going on. I think these are sort of clean, to be honest. Um, at first I thought these was whack in the pictures, but hopefully this video serves justice um, to bring you that good visual. As far as lace swapping, I think they would go hard with the red, in my opinion. Um, maybe the black, the black will sort of give it a Chicago one vibe a little bit. It will probably hit hard with some black jeans. But I think um, the red might be where it's at. Comment below. Some people may go crazy and put black on one side, red on the other, or some LA gear type stuff where they're lacing like two and three laces in here. Uh, whatever makes it original for you. Uh, whether you're going out or going to an event, event or in school, however you want to stun it because that's how you make the shoe your own uh, by the way you lace it. Just different things we used to do, whether it was lace um, every other loop or, have the, or lace about halfway up and then lace behind the tongue. Any little thing that we could think of. And usually when I lace too, I like to go over the loop, not underneath. I don't really like that, I like it over. It may feel a little bit more comfortable if you're balling, because this is a basketball shoe, to do it a traditional way and super tight, because um, this is an Air Jordan, so. Also, you got the uh, shoe tree on the inside and Nike Air in the footbed. These are okay, I mean, and it may just be because I haven't had a Jordan one in a while. But I think I'm gonna give these, in my opinion, probably a solid 7.9, maximum 8.3. I gotta see how they look in some gear. Comment below. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to get up a video on feet. It's a quick little review or whatnot. NDS them a little bit. So comment below. Let me know if you have yours, what you like to wear with yours, and if you're a collector of the Jordan one, and this is your vibe. So those are the requirements for your comments. <laughs> now comment what you want, positive energy, but just um, let me know. How do you like these? And I think this is gonna be a good colorway for the spring and summer. I'm gonna picture a lot of uh, individuals wearing these, especially uh, to amusement parks or just outside, period, you know. Um, yeah, so let's check it out up close. Get that close-up visual. Check out the tumble leather. Jordan the little stitching the little piping in black right here it's almost like um, like notebook style or something like newspaper like red ink correction ink pen <laughs> yeah but anyway, just having fun with it. Still Chicago Bulls colors, white, red, and black, so you can rock your Jordan or Pippen jersey or your rose. Yeah, maybe even with your rose gold. Maybe. Laces. I'm probably just gonna um, lace it up with this cell color 
Yeah, these are these are sort of ill. No doubt. Phantom style. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And until next time, be on the lookout for more unboxing and review videos. Check out Nike.com if you are a 10 or larger. Just do it. Peace. Now this is the outro. Yeah, phantom style.